If you own a phone of any kind, chances are you've received your share of robocalls, the telephone equivalent of spam, from scammers announcing that you've won a sweepstakes or some other ruse to gain access to your personal info. There's the Do Not Call registry where you can register your phone number on a national Do Not Call list, but by many accounts, robocallers have run circles around this registry. The website even warns against scammers calling people pretending to be from the Do Not Call registry. So way back in October, the Federal Trade Commission basically threw up their hands and left the robocall problem to the masses, announcing a $50,000 contest for anyone who can figure out the best technological solution to this problem. That is something a little better than what the FTC was suggesting in their educational videos. So, when you get an illegal robocall, here's what to do. Hang up the phone. Nearly 800 entries poured in, from this one, buy an answering machine to record incoming calls, then impose monetary sanctions, and that one's actually pretty reasonable compared to some of the suggestions, like the mousetrap, which merely states that the solution lies not in gizmos, but in stealth. Or from their Facebook page, why can't Obama just pass a law against robocalls worldwide, one user wants to know. The point being, most of the entries were insane. But on Tuesday, the FTC announced the winners of this robocall challenge. The entries were judged in three categories. Does it work? Is it easy to use? And can it be rolled out? The winner was something called Nomo Robo, created by two programmers. Here's how it works. A database tracks the numbers, and they say it can filter spoofed numbers, which are a common trick of robocallers. If a call is determined to be a robocall, the phone answers it and immediately hangs up before it has a chance to get to you. You'll just have to set up conditional call forwarding with your carrier. Meanwhile, the Nomo Robo servers analyze the calls that come in. If a certain number or numbers are making frequent calls, for example, those possible robocallers are asked to verify with an audio captcha. You might be a robocaller. To prove you are a human, please enter the number 71. And if they don't pass, they're added to a blacklist. This cloud-based solution could be implemented as an app, a device in homes, or a feature from your carrier. However, there is some skepticism, at least among other entrants, on how well this would work. Robocalls are notoriously difficult to kill. But what's your solution? Do you get a lot of these calls? If you have a creative way of dealing with robocalls or spammers of any kind, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Annie for TFN.